Welcome to Packing the Mazda. My name is Oliver and this is our 2020 Mazda 2. Uh, it's the brand new design, brand new shape. This one is called the Evolve, uh, which is the middle of the range. Uh, as you can see, the new Mazda 2 has this new design grill which follows its brothers, the Mazda 3, the Mazda 6 and the CX-5. Uh, however, they all are all a little bit unique uh, and feature their own style. Uh, for instance, this one looks like fish scales. Uh, on the Evolve you do have LED headlights which do have the angel eye daytime running light component as well. Uh, also the 16 inch alloy wheels which look magnificent with the new polymetal grey metallic exterior paintwork. It's a silvery blue colour uh, but it's been extremely popular so far since it was launched on the Mazda 3. Being a demonstrator vehicle you wouldn't expect there to be any scratches on the exterior uh, this one is no exception to that uh, you've also got the blind spot monitoring on your side mirrors which has an audible alert as well uh, so if someone's pulling up alongside you that'll alert you that they are there the hatch of the Mazda 2 is surprisingly uh, spacious opening that up you'll see you have an extra large uh, extra deep boot space sorry uh, with a spare wheel beneath that as well as all the tools you'd need Keep in mind, Mazdas do have a unlimited kilometre five year roadside assistance package as standard. Um, so if you do get a flat tyre, simply call that number, they'll come out and you don't have to get your hands dirty. You've also got the reverse parking sensors on the Mazda 2 Evolve as well as the rear camera. That's actually standard across all Mazda 2s now, uh, which certainly does help uh, with parking. Uh, the camera itself is actually three times better resolution than the outgoing camera, uh, which makes it extremely easy and a nice change of pace for anyone that's had a uh, reverse accident in the past. The interior of the Mazda 2 uh, has also been updated uh, quite a lot. Uh, you'll see on the interior of this one, it is a full navy blue cloth trim with contrast grey stitching uh, and it's extremely comfortable as always. Also has the ISO fix points on the outward seats for child seats. We also have a shark fin antenna on the roof adding to the sportiness of the Mazda 2 hatch and it's certainly a winner. The interior is a beautiful place to be. Mazda with all their models have really focused down on driver focus uh, so everything is exactly where it needs to be uh, the dashboard is even lovely to look at with a lot of soft touch points for instance this padded leather surface uh, matching the seat interior so na dark navy blue with the contrast stitching all the way through the dashboard uh, there's also some carbon fiber treatment as well uh, and even into the door uh, door jams now you do have the sort of herringbone design uh, stitching uh, with the contrast as well Whilst we're over here, you have your power windows on the right hand side as well as your side mirror controls. You can also lock those rear and side windows so that only the driver can adjust them. Behind the wheel you've got a few buttons, for instance the i-stop which does save you fuel depending on how often it is engaged. Uh, that will engage automatically uh, when you come to a stop and the car will turn back on just as quickly. You can turn your traction control off there. You've also got lane departure assist, assistance in the Evolve, um, which if you're driving along above 60 kilometers an hour and drift out of your lane, it will nudge the steering wheel back to keep you straight in, on the narrow. This one also has tire pressure monitoring as well. So if you go over a sharp road and you get a puncture in your tire or a blowout, uh, then it will alert you and you can uh, visit your nearest dealer and get those inflated and back on the road. On the steering wheel, everything is where it needs to be. You've got your cruise control here on the right hand side and your audio controls there on the left, including your voice control and the ability to answer or hang up phone calls. The audio controls we'll get to in a second. On the back of the steering wheel, you have your automatic headlights, which as I mentioned are LED, so extremely bright and fantastic for nighttime driving. If you've never had them before, you're definitely missing out. Uh, it's tremendous. On the left hand side you've got your automatic wipers uh, which are also in the rear as well so if you're reversing the wipers will wipe to keep the rain out of your vision. In the gauge cluster the Evolve has a 
digital speed readout in addition to having the heads up display on top of the dash. This demonstrator at the time of filming only has 615 kilometres, uh, so next to zero kilometres uh, for a fraction of the price of a new car. On the right hand side you've got your distance still empty, but you can also cycle through that to see your average fuel consumption, average speed, etc. This heads up display is fantastic, it not only shows how fast you're travelling, also cruise control speed, speed of the road that you're on, and even directions on your sat nav. Speaking of sat nav, over here to the middle screen, this is called the MZD screen, it has everything from your sat nav once the SD card is placed inside the car. You've also got your communications, so voice control to your phone, which I mentioned before, so contacts, playing music, you can do all of that through the Mazda system, or alternatively, for the first time ever, the Mazda 2 has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, so you simply plug your phone in to the USB point and it will mirror your apps across, whether that's Apple Maps, Google Maps, Siri, you name it, it can do it. In terms of the radio, contacts and sat nav, there are also favourites you can program in to the car to allow for easy use of the system and access on the go. Below that you'll see you have your uh, round air vents as well as the rectangle vent as well so it's all streamlined and Mazda is all about less is more which is why there's not a cluster of buttons up here to confuse you as you're trying to drive it's all about how the car feels connected to the road uh, and enjoying the drive whether it's a short commute, commute through the city or you're using it for highway usage it's a fantastic car either way and it racks up about 5.3 litres per hundred uh, so extremely efficient at the same time your climate control through the middle, you've got your fan speed in the middle, your temperature on the left, and your direction of airflow on the right. Uh, obviously that's all air conditioned, uh, and the lowest temperature is 18 degrees, the highest is 32. The USB points I mentioned are just down here below, as well as the 12 volt socket. There is a tab there for the SD card slot. Popping it into reverse, you'll see not only the display changes to reflect that, but also the little image of the car with your sensors. And these lines here are quite accurate. So at the top yellow line, you've got two meters behind the car. The yellow line is one meter. The red line is half a meter. And if you get to this section here at the bottom, then you've gone too far and you'll probably feel it as well. Your handbrake is on the passenger side, which doesn't eliminate any legroom for the driver and you've also got that commander dial here which you'll find in all Mazdas which controls the screen and you can either twist like a dial you can push like a button or you can tilt like a joystick those hotkeys I mentioned so music sat nav and favorites are all there and you've even got a smaller dial to adjust for volume for the passenger or the driver which saves having to find it on your steering wheel your two cup holders are located in the center as well as some storage with a nice carbon fiber type surround on it as well. In terms of storage, you've got a huge bottle holder in the door jam for both driver, passenger and in the rear and a nice gloss black finish on the door panel. Thank you for watching my video today on the Mazda 2 Evolve. As mentioned, Previously, it does have what's left of the five-year roadside assistance package through Mazda and Assist Australia. It also has the balance of the five-year factory warranty, which is unlimited kilometers as well. Uh, and you've also got a six-year warranty against any rust or corrosion that was to form. Uh, now, the car itself is a fantastic package. It is for sale today, and whether you want to test drive it, buy it, place a deposit, subject to viewing, whatever you want to do, we're happy to help as Mazda's family dealer, so give us a call on 5942-5238, that's 5942-5238, we look forward to hearing from you soon, thank you.